Well, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at the DualShock 4. This is a controller made by Sony for the PlayStation 4. It works with other machines such as uh, Windows 8, works with Android, works with some other odd uh, systems as a standard controller. But if you want to make use of all the new elements in here, you need to be using the PlayStation 4 itself. Right here you have your directional buttons, action buttons, a couple of joysticks here. These are a little bit further apart than in previous models. They work with sort of a rubbery substance on the top. Uh, so that your fingers will stick quite nicely. In the middle you have a PlayStation button. If you tap that once you'll head back to your PlayStation home screen. If you uh, double tap it you switch between apps. You have a front facing speaker here. This gets extremely loud. It's not as super refined as we'd see in a machine such as the HTC One, but it is louder than you could possibly need it to be. Down here you have another option for audio. You have a standard headphone jack. This works with a microphone as well. You have in, uh, another jack right here I'll be using for future accessories. Along the bottom you have textured plastic. This is not rubbery, it is just textured. Uh, the entire machine is made of hard plastic, save for the joysticks, which makes it extremely light. Uh, it's just heavy enough to still feel uh, high quality while it's light enough to toss around if you need to do that. On the left and right you have share buttons, uh, one share button and one option button. With the share button, you're going to be able to share screenshots and video from the machine that is recording all the time. If you record, if you're playing a game for uh, 15 minutes, I believe it is, you get to share that video automatically with this share button. You can share to Facebook, you can share to Twitter uh, with uh, screenshots, and it's all very simple. Over here, the option button allows you to get to your options on all sorts of different individual games. Up here, you have your several triggers. Triggers have been modified ever so slightly over past models. As you can see here, they're sort of a concave shape, so you can pull them back easily. There's lots of, uh, it's a perfect amount of pullback there. Up on the front, you have a light. This light bar works with your uh, Sony PlayStation 4 camera. With this, you'll be able to track yourself. You'll be able to use this as a motion controller. Uh, there's no games out right now that you make perfect use of it thus far, but we have been using the... Uh, demo app in the uh, PlayStation 4 base model itself and it's really quite awesome. Up here you have a micro USB port. This port you use to charge the machine as well as connect to machines if you're using devices besides the PlayStation 4 itself. Uh, the entire machine works with an 800 mAh, mAh battery which means you're going to be able to use it for about 8 hours uh, without needing to charge it back up. This is ready for the PlayStation 4 right now. Take a look.